Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Valentine's special singles forecast. Now let's take a look. Will you be meeting your soulmate or will it be another lesson to learn? Let's take a look. are going to be a magnet for younger people. Yeah. It seems like the other person is the one who will be reaching out to you. And the other one is somebody that you will be meeting randomly. Let's take a look. None of them. You'll be taking them seriously. And your sex life. Hmm. Domination. Okay, um, let's pull out more clarifications on this. Oh, okay. That actually flipped out. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other one lives um, outside your city or a little bit further from you. Well, actually both. One is an, one, oh, sorry. One is a water sign and one is an air sign. But both of them actually live far from you. Okay, no wonder that you're not going to take any one of them seriously. Um, well, not right away. But the thing here is, one of them is actually your soulmate. Okay, or somebody from your past. Life. Not really past. Um, yeah, I feel like this water sign is somebody that you already know. Okay. And somebody that's uh, been not really your longtime friend, but I feel like this person has been like uh, trying to reach out to you or trying to like let you know how they really feel about you, but you're not really paying attention to them. Now, the other one is a little bit younger than you, and I feel like this um, this person is very arrogant. You know, and very proud. And he feels too... Well, he thinks too highly of himself. Uh, well, there's no doubt that he is, you know. That he or she is, um, is a very intelligent person. But you know what? Um, without the right attitude, it's, um, it's no use. Okay, the water sign is somebody who's been thinking a lot about you and who's also ready, okay, to give up whatever they have, even if they have to move to wherever you are, or even if they have to move in the, to another house, you know, just to be with you, then they will do it. But then they also have some reservations since that you're not really paying attention to them for a long period of time. Now, the other one is somebody that you will just meet randomly, okay? And this one is, I feel like just because that they are still fresh and new, not that young. I feel like it, this person is already in the, in the late 30s, okay? Now for some. And um, I feel like this is the person where you can be feeling more connections, more chemistry, and deja vu as well. You know, and then uh, I feel like this person will be traveling. For some reason, I feel like this person's profession or work has something to do with the, you know, with travel or air industry. More likely a pilot or someone who flies a plane, okay, or just plainly working in the air industry. Um, I feel like this person is still seeing someone else on the side, but I don't really feel like they're pretty much a serious okay so when you meet this person the two of you will be looking into your chemistries altogether 
and I feel like you will have more successful connection with the air sign rather than with the water sign. If you will go for the water sign, both of you will be very emotional. Very, it's like you both have weaknesses in your relationships. And, you know, it's like uh, you want somebody who can be more expressive. And instead of bottling up their feelings or, you know, waiting for you to read what else, whatever that's on their mind. Or for you to guess how they really feel. You want somebody who's more outspoken and who's more expressive rather than uh, that playing the guessing game. Alright. However, I feel like there's a lesson for you to learn here. Okay. Because you, I feel like you will be choosing the air sign rather than the water sign. Even though this water sign has been waiting for you for a long period of time. Now, there will be a success that's going to be coming your way, but someone will be going home weeping or heartbroken, all right? And I feel like you need to break it a little bit gently with this other person, even though they're already an adult, okay? And mm, your decision will go for the air sign. And what are you going to be doing with the water sign? I feel like the TV will still be, you know, remain in contact. Or you, it's like you just want to keep this person as a friend since that you also value, you know, the foundation that you've already had together or the foundation that you've already started together. But for you, nothing will change. Okay, whatever they do, whatever it is that they're going to, you know, uh, whatever it is that they'll do to you, or how they really want the, the relationship, the friendship, or even if they're going to give you like a brand new car or a brand new house, nothing will change to your feelings. Oh, but of course, that's not really bad, you know? Oh, I feel like if, it, if they will just give you that kind of gift, why don't you just take it? Oh, well, anyway. Um, well, I bet this other air sign is... Even though you will have more feelings for this person, uh, it seems like this is going to be a bit of a um, headache, okay? Because uh, this person loves to compete, thinks too highly of themselves, a bit of a narcissist, but, um, you know, it can work out. And uh, if you really want to, if you'll have the patience, if you'll have that kind of uh, perseverance, and if you really want this relationship, then yeah. It's up to you that you can, you know, you can really make it work. But for the other sign, if you will be taking this person, I feel like this is more likely your twin flame. Not true. Well, yeah. And this other air sign is... We'll see. Because um, it seems like this is your soulmate. But this person needs to change a lot in their behaviors and uh, attitudes. Okay, since that they also have some big attitude as well and big head. Now, when it comes to your sex life, domination, sadism, and this person is also a little bit perverted. Well, the other person is very boring, always sticking around to whatever that's right. Although, you know, they love doing the oral. But the other person is somebody who can, you know, entice your fantasy, okay? And it seems like this person knows a lot of games and they know how to swirl a person in bed, okay? Although I don't feel like this person wants to have any child for now. So you need to have some protected sex, okay? And don't really expect that this person will be, you know asking you to marry them or they will plan to make they, they will just try to talk about having some plans of uh, you know raising a family or kids so it's going to take some time for that if you're going to be in a relationship anytime soon two years from the time that you're going to be officially together together that's the only time that you will have a uh, formal discussion about getting married and having a family if you are going to be choosing this air sign okay um i don't feel like 
this person is gonna be um you know like uh, I don't feel like this person is gonna be promiscuous but they have a very strong appeal so you're gonna be up against a lot of women or a lot of men you know and they are very sweet and charming as well only to those strangers but when it comes to relationships they start to become dry well they are very exciting when it comes to bed let's take a look what's what are the lessons that you have to learn in a relationship okay Balance, passion, meditation, doubt. You need to balance your decision. If you feel like you're in doubt with the other person, then, you know, uh, postpone it for a little bit. But you need to be a little bit more warm and passionate about your partner, okay? And if there are some emotional baggages that's been, like, dragging you down, try to you know, dump it out or try to toxify, detoxify by meditation. And I feel like you need to find your center and change your aura, okay? The reason why you're being too doubtful is because, you know, your instincts are telling you something. But you also need to control your instincts, okay? Nobody's perfect. Cheating and lying and uh, other negative stuff will always be a part of human nature. And it's only a matter of adjusting from it all right so well i feel like this person is much better good looking and taller than this water sign okay although this person i feel like uh um, intelligent and working in school okay or working in the education field or um earth field all right so anyway scorpio that's it for you for now for this Valentine's. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.